Zilla. First things first, I want to set the denominator, e denominator equal to zero. So I'm going to have 2y, move him across the equal sign, and I'm going to get an 18. Divide out by 2 on all sides. That's going to give me y not equal to 9. I don't want y to equal to 9, so that's my restriction. y not equal to 9. I don't want that to happen. Okay, so now let's solve the rest of the problem. Okay, get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. Okay, now this right here is actually not that hard, okay? And I can tell you why. This 81 is really 9 times 9, or, or yes, 9 times 9, like that. And if I have um, uh, the difference of two squares like this, basically what that's saying is that I have, an, um, I can have a, a, a y minus 9 and a y plus 9. It's the difference of two squares. Now, I'm, uh, this, everything's good except for one thing. I'm missing a minus sign because look, if I say this times this, I'm going to get a, a positive. I need a negative there. So this times this it's going to be positive y squared, this times this, I'm sorry, this times this is positive, this times this is a positive y, this times this is a negative y, this times this is my negative for my 81. And I, like I said before, I need to have a negative. So I'm going to push a negative to the outside to change those positives to negative, okay? Now I'm going to take the bottom and I'm going to pu pull out a 2 and going to leave a y inside and a minus 9. Now when that happens, see look, 2 times y is this guy, 2 times um, this negative 9 is this guy. Now I have these guys that can cancel, see that? So it's going to leave me with a negative y plus 9 over 2. Uh, let me check my notes in just a second. Yes, that's true. And then I'm going to have a restriction of y not equal to 9, like I said up here. And that's the answer. Oop, Zilla.